welcome back to the episode last and day on a survival today we return boys and girls ladies and gentlemen guys that's your favorite fantastic day on the base of base ready and today update 1.10.2 is officially ready that is right go ahead and copy peek at this boom what you guys to see it right here was posted earlier oh we got something nifty over here to go ahead and run to but what you guys to see it over here was posted earlier today by kafir saying update 1.10.2 is ready waiting for the green light from the app store so what they mean over there is that whenever they because this is going to be a multiplayer update that we are getting as we know it is going to be the clan base over in sector 7 as soon as it comes out we're going to make a video on it and showing off anything and everything about it we can fully expect it within the next few days the reason for that being is that usually that's how long it takes for apple to process the update and uh shouts out to you guys apple for delaying us god dang it can't you just approve the update so all of us can be playing it already so apple is the reason that we do not have it right now but no worries because as soon as it's approved both of us it will be going live uh, which call the update will be going live both on android and on ios and the reason for that being is that this one is a multiplayer update so it does need to come out at the same time for both android and ios because they're gonna like the, like something with the servers changes whenever there's a multiplayer update so that is gonna be changing and that is something to definitely go ahead and look forward to and let me know how hype you guys are about this bad boy how excited you are to hopefully be able to start going and seeing your clan in a common place in a common base potentially expanding it having a fan for fantastic time over there go ahead and let me know in that comment section down below because i'm definitely looking forward to the hyper train that we can get for this and of course if this update is out that also means we're closer to the next one and the next one appears that uh well we do still have that gas station and new vehicle coming our way very soon in the form of the motorcycles there's a lot of stuff to be excited for coming to last day on earth between this between what's coming up after it so definitely an exciting time to be staying up to date with the times and that as y'all know is something that we uh try to do our very best at but yeah like i'm saying go ahead and do that down below today what we are going to be doing in case you guys are wondering it's a quick visit over to well the big one not the big one the blind one i always get them mixed up man you guys gotta understand the big one the blind one the difference between those two names is literally like three letters in one word out of the three words that they use all right it's it's, it's confuzzling they start with the same letters i'm sorry but on a brighter note we are going to be opening up all of the crates over in bunker alpha and we have a revenge raid lined up and we are only at uh, whatchamacall we're only at uh two skulls right now we've been getting a lot of revenge raids out of just three skulls so honestly i i know that i usually try to make my way back up to four skulls let's freaking go we're getting a finger two today baby so we're getting some extra loot out of the bunker but yeah, as you guys know i do usually try to uh go up to those four skulls to ensure the most revenge raids imaginable since revenge raids are free raids and free raids are good raids but the problem is is that i feel like we've been getting more raids having just three skulls so i think we're gonna leave it at three skulls for a little bit uh but if we do go back down to whatchamacall to two skulls without a revenge raid to bring us back up to the third one i think we'll do a double raid to get us up to four skulls which so is kind of like a little bit of a blueprint how the raiding is shaping up for the near future and all in all baby is shaping up pretty good just like the loots of this place is shaping up to be I mean, the best part out of this is usually, whatchamacall, getting the finger, then actually being able to utilize that at the bunker. That's what we're going to be doing. I'll go ahead and hydrate a little bit as well. Can never go wrong with that. We could put that away. We could collect some of that. And I think this is the final chest that we got. We might have that one over there before we dip ski on out of here and make our way over to the bunker and try to cash in. And ooh, 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 I got plenty of those back at home. A little bit less of those. So I'm going to try to cash in on that. And finally, the final loot box before moving on. This one, a little bit slower to open on up. Cross my fingers, that means there's something good within. Ooh, okay. Not the greatest thing in the world because, well, we didn't take any damage. So we don't really have like a dedicated slot for that. We'd have some gun oil though. So I'll put, I'll put away the wiring. I have a bejesus ton of that. And flashlights, those are really good for leveling up your recycler, but I'm pretty much max level at flash, or not flashlights, max level at uh, the recycler for electronics. But yeah, if you guys find flashlights, definitely recycle those. They like, don't give you anything super crazy. So like, it's not like you want to save them for when your recycler is at its best. And okay, that thing, oh my God, we got an hour to get to that thing. We could head over there a little bit later. But uh, yeah, it's so, like you do want to sh shave. You do want to save some of your better electronics, such as phones, uh, flash drives, all that stuff that can give you a lot of good stuff with like that really small chance until you are at a higher recycler level. But things like a 
flashlight a little bit less because they never drop anything that amazing so they're kind of cool to just recycle uh pretty much pretty early into it and then you can maximize and utilize those as a good way of like leveling up so you can then recycle and get better things out of your other stuff. 23027 is going to be the code for today, at least at the time of me trying to put it in. If that's out of date, by the time you're trying to do it, make sure you check that comment section down below. Phone up today version brought to you by the favorite contestant community here at the Snipe Gang. And speaking of that comment section down below, like I was saying, let me know what you guys are looking forward to out of this update. I'm just, it's just going to be great to have a common place to call base, to call home between me and my community and my clan and i am thinking because i'm currently in like a little bit of a youtuber clan i'm kind of like i don't know i'm 50 50 i'm on the fence whether uh whatchamacall i do want to go through and like i i, I kind of want to leave this clan but at the same time i want to be in the clan so we could do like cool collaborations with other youtubers when co-op missions do roll in as well because that's definitely going to be a fun thing to be popping into but i want to be able to play with you guys as well so another thing i was scheming up feel free to uh let me know you guys' thoughts on it is that we try and get some uh Whatchamacall? I'm trying to get a little bit of a second potentially save going where... Ooh la la! Hello, Glock17! And other things over there. I'll collect all of y'alls that I can for now. And we gotta go ahead and cash in on this finger as well. Oh, looky looky there! Hello, good loot! What you got in store for me? Anything extra good? Extra guten tag, yeah? Maybe? Ooh, okay, not too shabby. I'm gonna leave behind that dinked up military armor. We can cash in on that a little bit later when we actually have a little bit more inventory room to go ahead and spare. We'll go ahead and pick up some other things over there and over there. And I'm also gonna put away a couple of things here that we will come back and scoop up a little bit later because we do wanna have inventory room when we are going through today's shenanigans throughout here and also i'm definitely bringing that food down you can never go wrong with a little bit of munch munch and what do we got over here let's freaking go we're getting some shotgun rain on top of it i'm gonna start running a little bit low on shotgun rain guys i am not gonna lie so that is a very very reassuring sign to be copping over there and we'll probably blow through a couple pistols over here because like these two are about to break so that'll free up some inventory room so we're gonna be all good and all good speak of the devil already one broke so that's an extra inventory song we want that for the hard mode items that our adversaries are gonna be dropping like i was saying go ahead let me know in that comment section down below your guys' thoughts i kind of do want to start like potentially like live stream like maybe like we'll have a save that we could stream on and then we'll have uh, we'll continue like our youtube save here and then one i'll be in a clan with you guys one i'll be in a clan and i think like it might be cool to be in the clan uh with you guys like on live stream for example so we could do like live stuff together so definitely some moving parts over there that i am trying to figure out but speaking of moving parts and things that i want to hear from y'all as you guys know we have the 600 000 subscriber special coming up very very shortly it's gonna be i'm trying to make something very cool for it and for a part of it i do want to incorporate a little bit of a q and a where i maybe answer some of your guys's questions because i kind of you know i i, I, I don't know i think you guys do often have some questions that i can't necessarily like answer in a good situation like i could like as sometimes i try to reply to comments and stuff but sometimes you guys ask questions that like a lot of people want to know the answers to right so it'd be kind of cool to highlight that a little bit during the I was about to say 400k, 600k subscribers special. So go ahead and let me know as well. Another thing I'd love to hear from y'all, whether that be 1.10.2 hype. Yo guys' thoughts on that potential second person for a second clan and or second, uh, second series on like a live stream or something, right? Any and all that type of jazz in addition to any questions you guys may or may not have for moi because I'd absolutely love to be able to answer those. So go ahead and drop those in that comment section down below. And a reminder that that comment's going to put you one third of the way into the week. $12 at two such place store gift card giveaway. All you got to do as well is make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe. Double entry you went on today's video. Y'all go ahead and enter in on every single last day on Earth video when Saturday rolls around. We'll pick a random video from the past week. Pick a random comment from that random video in Zets. We'll be with for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell hit to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on earth information as we continue to keep you in the loop about this bad boy not to mention as soon as those gameplay updates come out not just are we keeping y'all in the loop for them but of course we are going to be checking them out showing off anything and everything that they got to offer making sure you yes you is prepared for the adversaries and whatnot that it may 
or may not bring so definitely some dopeness in store make sure you guys are sticking around not to mention the notification bell is a great great way of staying up to date with every single video y'all can enter in on for that weekly giveaway and of course all the other dope survival games going up on the channel that i think you guys may have a little bit of a liking to so all in all pretty dope investment and this has been a message from investor star with his totally sound investment advice of investing in that bell and god dang it dude speaking of loud things because you know bells are kind of loud when you hit them yeah <laughs> yeah a uh, smooth transition i know uh speaking of loud things god dang dude i forgot how loud an unsilenced pistol is but that's all good we don't got to use this thing too much mo because we got something that we came here with and something that we brought to, for a specific someone who happens to be locked in this little room right here hello big one uh -huh. not big one hello blind one uh -huh. how do you do that big boy it's your favorite papa Dota star he's coming along and he is more than prepared to bring the pain upon you in exchange for the pain that i offer up my pain deliverance services i am fully expecting some good loot from you kind sir give me that hard mode items give me those red tickets maybe give me some uh, bones or whatnot that we could use for some cool melee upgrades listen i'm open to negotiation but long story short let's just get things straight here you gonna die and i am going to collect loot off your most deadest of bodies so let's cooperate let's make it easy peasy i'll try to make this death honestly if you just want to like lay down instead of attacking me that'd be kind of handy too it'll make your death a lot less painful or if you want to run into walls without hitting me in between then i could do more damage to you and you could die a little bit faster you know i'm just trying to look out for what's best for my clients and the big one is one of my most well-known clients because i'm actually uh, i run my own nutrition agency the big one he's been trying to join like a weight watching program you know not the big one the blind one you know what i mean but long story short look at all these dead bodies oh my god dude that shook the screen for a minute am i going crazy yeah look at all these dead bodies though that he tries to munch on he is snacking too much and i'm just trying to look out for him i'm trying to make him the best blind one that he could be and he's over here he is not happy that he enlisted my services as you can tell by the fact that he is smacking me and even trying to charge into me but listen i don't care how violent my clients get i will see it through and through and ensure that you become a healthy you blind one that in in case you do die a you signed uh insurance policy waiver so i'm pretty safe on that front and uh b i'm like 99 shotgun rain percent sure that you just respawn literally every two days i mean doesn't respawn he hibernates for two days at a time let's get it straight here i've never i, I don't kill people i i mean shotgun rain may or may not have killed some people throughout his time but shotgun rain's a whole different story man shotgun rain's just the cool the coolest cat on the street all right yeah that's right we're talking street cats too that's an extra layer of cool so uh yeah but all right let's make sure that this frenzy giant over here doesn't notice us we'll most likely be bringing this shotgun along for today's raid as well because i am really looking forward to getting some of that sweet sweet revenge because this guy decided to break into my base he didn't do anything too bad though that's the thing like if we keep on getting a lot of raids at just three skulls i'm very tempted to just stay at three skulls because you guys know we've gone through some dry spells trying to get revenge raids and why do i why am i obsessed with getting my base raided well like i'm saying the free raid you get in return is pretty sweet if you properly protect your base and for the most part we keep our base properly protected now there have been instances such as uh well when we decided to get triple raided within 24 hours that was still brutally savage game not a fan of that but i am a fan of what i'm seeing down there let's freaking go thank you thank you kindly most kindest of sirs for that little thing right there thank you for a little bit of that high explosive thing known as c4 i'm a very big fan of your work c4 thank you for joining me that actually brings our c4 total up to three i managed to get some more and stack up a little bit before today's episode so we are very well equipped for today's raid and speaking of well equipped i am putting on a nicer hat and some nicer boots and i will actually okay hold up hold up way i need some of these mad kids today there we go i got some of those mad kids today uh what was i gonna say i'm stealing some of those i will come back for the rest of this in my free time but i do just want to consolidate a little bit of the inventory room and pick up the good things yeah and i think i got the good things all picked 
Do we have a... No, we don't have a second inventory slot. I'm gonna leave behind... I don't know. I'm starting to get a nice stockpile of glue. I'll leave behind the glue, and I'm actually gonna pick up some of that aluminum wire as well, because it should be available throughout a couple of these other chests, and we can we get a nice little... I mean, I'm not gonna call it a stockpile. I don't think that's big enough to call a stockpile, but a tiny little stash, a sprinkle of aluminum wire. I don't know how the hell you gonna sprinkle some wire, but you know what I mean. We got a little sprinkle of it, which is always good. We got the big one, not the big one, the blind one. I wish we could get the big one to hibernate for two days. That'd make my life, oh, that would make the raiding lifestyle a very, very good lifestyle. Don't get me wrong, but unfortunately, I do not believe that is the way that the boat is gonna row today. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, hello, dealer. I have no business with you, though. I've been scammed by you one too many times. But I do have some business heading on back home and seeing what this little raid over here, 19 da arke. Maybe, maybe that's pronounced dark. I don't know. I don't want to be assuming things here about you, Mr. 1999. All right. Or maybe 19. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be 1999, which is like a word in between. Maybe 1999 was a really dark year for this guy and or gal. Who knows? Who knows what's going through the minds of that base? Maybe this is Kafir secretly revealing the year that this game takes place in. Except no, because that is just someone's base name. But they allowed it in the database! Confirmed! Nah, I kid. I kid. But yeah, we got our stockpile going up to 3C4. We got some inventory that we gotta go ahead and put away. And we got a whole ton of good stuff to raid today. So talk to y'all in a second. And with our loot to put away and some different types of loot inhabiting our inventory, specifically the type of loot that becomes level one hatchets over here and some iron axes on top of it, because that is all that we are gonna need to complete today's raid. In addition to that C4 that we have nice and stockpiled, without further ado, I would say we are looking nice and prepared for whatever the game decides decides to throw our way so without further ado we got a modified pistol real quick and with those mods on the pistol without further ado let's board the chopper and let's go and board that lad's base mr 19 dark 99 oh any chopper events by chance popping up game yeah yeah, I'm, I'm not seeing chopper events, unfortunately. Well, I'll take what I can get. And what we're getting is Mr. 19 Da RK 99. Potentially 19 Dark 99. Maybe 19 Da RK. I, dude, there's so many different ways to pronounce that name. All right, it's not obvious enough. I'm not used to seeing a freaking word in between two numbers that I'm pretty sure is supposed to be a year. But I ain't judging. All I'm judging is your base and the type of loot that it might contain and by the looks of it this one ought to be easy pickings for a lad like me knock knock here's johnny come on where you at where you at what you got you got a couch nice couch bro so it appears that this is because this is what we do see quite a little bit of the type of a uh, starter base that has been expanded upon a little bit and it appears that we have un chest over here coming with some red tickets okay okay i like red tickets it's listen this is a revenge raid it's a free raid i don't care if a revenge raid has no uh okay nothing super amazing there if a revenge raid doesn't have anything amazing but i only have to use iron hatchets and stuff to get to it like i'm never mad i'm usually like i'm, I'm totally cool with that all right that's an easy peasy raid. Revenge raids, we're trying to get our loot back as well in case anything bad's stolen. Anything on top is just a cherry or a couple of cherries. Although sometimes we do chase the cherries specifically and not trying to get our stuff back, but you know what I mean. At the end of the day, we didn't have to like, you know, do no quests or anything for this raid. You know, we didn't have to drop no dollary dues to make this happen, but we did have to go ahead and spread a little bit of shotgun rain on these schmucks over here. Shotgun rain to you. He's got 19 health. Yeah, done. No shotgun rain to you. And one more to go ahead. Ooh, finish the job and send that head for lying off. Alrighty then. Question is, what was in here? Because I kind of started panicking before I could fully get the situation under control. We got some telephonos. We got some band-aids and I suppose some gold. I guess today might be a gold digging type of raid. I'm sorry guys, I've become a gold digger. I never thought, I never thought it'd come to this. Except I'm not a digger. <gasps> I'm a gold raider. Oh mama. Oh, things have got interesante, and what is within the confines of here? 
another one of these. So there are stone walls, but luckily for us, we don't need to break through them. And hello. I like what I'm seeing from this raid. An AK and a couple of pistols, not to mention some police guards on top of it all. Pretty hard to go wrong with that. I am a somewhat satisfied sailor today. Let's put that 8K away. And let's see what else we can't take away from here. Some of these, probably not too. Oh, we still got plenty. Oh, you know what I got? I got a little little Ponzi scheme here to run. Why is it a Ponzi scheme? I don't know. For some reason, I was watching an episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. There was a Ponzi scheme involved, and I had a Ponzi scheme on my mind. No worries, guys. I'm not secretly leading a Ponzi scheme anywhere. And if I was, I'd be the worst leader of all time. You guys have seen me play last day on Earth before. You guys have seen the goldfish memory kick in and some super derpy moments. I'm pretty sure to run a Ponzi scheme, you need to have some... Uh, you got to be doing something extra right. You can't really mess up a Ponzi scheme. Otherwise, there's going to be a lot of angry campers up on your doorstep. And I try to make... I, I try to make happy campers, not angry ones, okay? Happy campers are better campers than angry ones. And shotgun rain it's just very fun to shoot you think i could shoot shotgun rain in the middle of a ponzi scheme depending on the ponzi scheme depending on where it was i don't know long story short shotgun rain to you there goes the shotgun let's go ahead and finish the deed off on these dudes and they should be faltering and falling pretty easy as well bye bye baby what you got in store for me now mr bass uh did you have anything good over here nothing too noteworthy uh, I might sabotage your house. I might break your dinner table and your couch, my dude. No hard feelings. I just feel like, you know, a little bit of vandalism here and there. Never hurt anyone in the last day on Earth. Definitely hurt people IRL. That's why, listen, if you if you want to vandalize something, don't do it in real life. Just go and raid a base in the last day. Get all that angst out, you know? Uh, we could put that away. We'll try and collect a couple of these melee weapons error. We're going to go ahead and put some of those away, too. No point in having those stick around. Um... Hammers could be good for weapon modifications, uh, although we do have a machete, which is always Gucci as well. But that's the thing, man. If you get this raid especially, all that you need to be able to successfully raid it is literally iron hatchets. Even if you just want, like, even if you can only craft level one hatchets, you can still get three pistols out of this. That AK may have been mine that we recovered during the revenge raid, but I do believe all those pistols were his. So yeah, this is definitely the type of raid where anyone could succeed in it. There is no barrier to entry known as C4 and stone walls. However, just make sure you're ready for that retaliation that the AI raiders might bring back. As long as you got your base nice and wrapped up in a honeycomb, you should be nice and Gucci to go. And ooh, there we go. I almost forgot about that free slot we could capitalize upon. Let's just kind of do one final run through of what we got. And I'm thinking, I think I saw some more pine planks in another chest. There's nothing else super stand out about this base. So I think I know what we're running with. Maybe the actually, uh, we've been doing a really good job at stockpiling pine planks lately. So I'm going to go ahead and grab, uh, I'm grabbing some of that iron. I've been neglecting iron a little bit more than I would like. And it's, yeah, I'll, I'll take the 19 iron. I'm cool with that. So there we have it. Lads and lassies, the raid. Oh, hold on, hold on. We got one more thing over here. Dude, we didn't check into this. Hey, we got some carrots. I'm feasting on you, carrots. Hope that that's cool. And with that said, those carrots have filled up my tummy and filled up my thirst. I feel like a horse with those amount of carrots. Nay! That was probably the most terrifying horse noise of all time. I sincerely apologize to anyone who may or may not be trying to fall asleep within the next three or five days. I know I'd have nightmares for that long. And hello! Rest stop. Ooh la la. Okay. And we got the perfect amount of energy to make it right back to base. A thank you, Dark, for a perfectly executed raid today. That brings our skulls back up to three. And remember, we're gonna keep on we're gonna keep on milking these revenge raids because I it just seems like they happen to be more at three skulls, man. I think I've been like eternally at four skulls, where all the four skull raiders are like, nah, dude, it's just star. You're just gonna come back and raid us. You know, but all the three skull raiders are like, oh, a chance it's starter. Oh, mama, it is time to capitalize. And well, then we counter capitalize and I guess we could call it a lowercase at that point. So we lowercase and we go and get that sweet revenge. But I'm gonna put this stuff away and talk to y'all 
in a sec. And alrighty, guys, we got a chopper event to go ahead and visit with the help of our muddy fine assistant over here known as, well, the chopper. But remember soon, this might not be our only assistant. Like I was saying, after we get this clan base update, pretty much the next thing on the smorgasbord of things is shaping up to be a little thing known as the gas station. Where exactly will it be? I I kind of think that the way, like, I, I don't know, man. I feel like there's not a lot of stuff up north. I really feel like there should be some locations coming to the north. And with the fact that it's going to involve something with the motorcycle, potentially modifying our chopper up at that gas station. I, I'd say that north is looking like a mighty fine candidate since you need a chopper to be able to get up there in the first place. And ooh, this is always a fun type of chopper event to take advantage of. Hello, hello, friends. How do you do? Don't mind me, just chilling over here. I'm, I'm more than prepared to, well, kill that guy with the shotgun first and foremost, because then he drops a shotgun, and I want him to use that shotgun the minimum amount of times possible. So please, shoot your shot, big boy! I took him out before he could do too much damage to us. We have Mr. AK over here before finally Mr. Survivor over there and now all that we got is an entire field filled with loot also dead bodies i guess i should kind of put that little asterisk little little tally mark up in there but some great loot like that right there a half durability shotgun guaranteed from this event and that's another reason that i really love this event if you could kill mr shotgun rain over there quick enough you're walking out of here with a pretty decent shotgun and given the fact this is like one of the best guaranteed ways of getting a shotgun it sucks that it isn't durability. Trust me, as someone obsessed with shotgun rain, it does suck, but hey, it's not too shabby. Am I right? Oh, I know I'm right, lads. I know I'm right on that one. But let's go and see what else these choppers and whatnot might contain for me. And woo! Things are looking good with a little pistol as well. We got a gas tank on top of it all. And we looted that guy up. We can loot this, this, eh. This, this this one's never really that great. Uh, ooh, some cooked food. That's a slight improvement. I'm used to like seeing like really random stuff in the pickup truck. There's actually some edible things. Hot dog, that might be a first, but uh, yeah, I think for the most part, we grabbed the good stuff out of this. But seriously, that gas station, that's gonna be such an awesome update, man. I'm looking forward to it. Like I was saying, if you guys got any thoughts about that, of course, the clan update coming. Anything and everything like that type of jazz. Not to mention questions for that 600k Q&A. Make sure to drop them in that little thing known as that comment section uh, down below. But still, today was a good raid. The blind one fell. We had a rather successful raid with some pretty good stuff for the low, low cost of some iron hatchets. Always wrong to go wrong or always hard. What? always hard to go wrong when you're not blowing through the essentials aka that marvelous thing known as c4 i like to conserve my c4 and when i can get a revenge raid specifically I, I like those types of raids if it's a normal raid unless there's some really good stuff in the wooden base i'm kind of bummed because the thing is with i don't know stone bases like i think we could agree on this they're just more likely to have better stuff and hello i like what i'm seeing there but I don't know stone bases are just a little bit more on the likely side to have that better stuff and if we're you know investing some quests investing a little bit of dollar dues here or there i'm trying to make sure we could capitalize on it to the fullest extent but with that said with that done that's gonna start wrapping up this episode of last day auto survival thank you guys a whole ton for tuning in update 1.7.2 is ready is prepared we're simply waiting for the ios app store and apple to confirm the update and then we will be in that mod Marvelous version 1.10.2. So, looking forward to it. Keep your eyes peeled. We'll be covering that update later on in the week. But let's go ahead and start doing it for me. Best of luck to you guys and gals. Get the chopper gas taken. Enjoy to the chopper squadron. Best of luck breeding your pup. Getting the true friend perk. Leveling up your own perks and skills. Not to mention, find the very best blueprints and building up the very best attachments for the very best guns that you got. Best of luck building up your base. Going out in the dopest of raids. Defeating all the boss of the game as to throw at you. Getting yourself past the multiplayer wall had a most important of all having yourselves an absolutely family fantastic time all throughout and of course best of luck in that weekly giveaway as well but as we go ahead and do it for me thank you guys a whole ton for watching have yourselves an awesome one and i'll talk to you next one see ya